All right, several against several things going on here. Uh, first of all, it's, the weather is really not nice at all. So um, we've got a bit of a chalk room to build. It's kind of raining, kind of even between the two. Not very nice. Choking first, so we can get me started. Get me started, and uh, I got John Bobcat here, uh, and I'll spread it out with that. I'll rub it out with that for the bigger. It's gonna bring a lot of mud on the surface, which I don't really want to. for this afternoon. So I tried to get it get the choke in quickly before the rain comes. So it's there. Okay, see in a minute. Right, I don't put too much on the damper either because I got a go through the bridge. So originally we made a coal bug there. You see there is a coal bug there so we can get the machines across and stuff when we did all that. <coughs> but it's really wet now, really muddy. So if I start going through there with the dumper and the digger I'm gonna make a, a lot of mess on that choke. So the, the bridge takes the dumper and we'll take the bobcat, it won't take the digger. So uh, that's some of the reason I'm doing it the way. Look, the sun is out there. It's one bit on. Oh, it's gone. I'm here in that corner. So I just tip the rest in here. Nice one. So, got a few loads in there. I need this. Because John's feet not very nice and it's wet this will be rattly as well oh boy now, I used to work with one of these about 15 17 years ago Europe 
worked out with the bobcat and it's good enough good enough for me to ride over it with a damper but I do come back with the bigger and uh, I personally can do a better job with the bigger and I think the bobcat would be capable as well just um, a bit light for this and there's uh, some horrendous play in the bucket bushes of paint I mean you can't you can't physically keep the bucket level and uh, it just pinches out as it hits well because these rocks are quite lumpy and um, and once it's actually got some weight and it uh, just wants to dive in coming this afternoon
can say about it 200 mil 250 mil wide and not the wear stream and the actual back of the bucket is the cutting edge you want to use so when you when you can when you put it down to the ground you want to put it down like that so it's just the cutting edge touching the ground and that's how you do the job and not like that not with the little back of the bucket because that's how you ruin your bucket in no time and it wore away very quickly good old Pedro told me that Tim I know he's watching he used to work for us with us a good nine eight years ago when I started and he's an excellent driver a very good driver and one day I asked him how are you making it so flat and neat and he said <coughs> use the cutting edge not the back of the bucket and it's right so thank you for the tip Pedro I'm using it to these days all right change of plans so we got paving to do tomorrow on another piece of road but we do that with a paver and we on touch and go with the amount of stone we got here so we're gonna leave this for a moment and save the stone make sure we got enough for the paver and then we can order more if we need more um, so i got that far we were all this in i was planning to landscape this and tidy up the v-dish and all that however the weather forecast it's for a thursday today and the weather forecast is looking really nice for all next week so i don't want to make a mess now when i can do that in a dry next week because there's no point there's plenty of other things i can get on with so we're just gonna leave it as it is for a minute and we're gonna go do something else there's a footpath down there need retrieving so i'm gonna get on the mini digger and work with that 